all you can eat prime rib, all you can eat beef ribs, all you can eat seafood here at Marketplace Buffet in Las Vegas. If you guys are a big meat eater, then this is the buffet that you have to be at. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Steve from Rockstar Eater coming to you with another rockin' episode. And I am out here in Las Vegas at the famous JW Marriott Hotel and Resort. Not too many people know that west of Las Vegas here at this hotel is a hidden gem buffet called Marketplace Buffet. On Thursday nights, they have all you can eat, prime rib, so this is gonna be so awesome. I encourage you guys stick all the way to the end because I'm gonna show you the entire spread here at one of the hottest buffets that you can find west of Las Vegas here at Marketplace Buffet. And also if you're new to this channel, take a moment right now to hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell because I post these food and travel videos weekly you don't wanna miss out on. So go ahead, do that right now. And in the meantime, I'm gonna be heading into this buffet 4 p.m. opening time, which means that they're gonna be fully stocked. Tonight, it's $31.99 a person. You do wanna check on the website because the prices are different depending on when you come, and there's always gonna be different menu items. But for tonight, I'm gonna to be feasting on the prime rib, the seafood, before we continue on with this episode, I wanna let you guys know about some really great black sesame buns I recently discovered from a company called Chime. Mmm, delicious. These black sesame buns originated from Taiwan, so it is the real deal. I really love the way it tastes. The bun is so soft and fluffy, and the black sesame seeds inside is smooth and lightly sweet. I like how easy it is to prepare. You can steam it or simply microwave it, in fact, reheating doesn't affect the texture or the taste of the buns. This is something I like to eat, whether it is for breakfast or maybe even an afternoon snack. These chime buns are available at your local Costco, so that's where you need to go to get it, or you can go to the video description link so that you can order yours today. So I hope you enjoy because these are really awesome snacks. With that being said, let's get back on with the show. All right, guys, this is Chef Lalo. He's a sous chef here at Marketplace Buffet. He's going to explain to us everything that's up here. So today we'll be starting at the Global Station. First of all, we have a short ribs, short pepper short ribs with uh, peppers and onions. Off we have the um, classic uh, udon noodles with some shrimp. We have a classic dish, uh, the Kung Pao chicken. All right, this is Kung Pao chicken? Yes, sir. It has the uh, mushrooms, peanuts, um, Corn, mushrooms, okay. watercress, cool. cool. Um, bok choy. It's uh, one of our veggies for the day that we that we put out, and then our vegetable fried rice. Ooh, wow, that looks delicious. And what's that? Oh, this is just our very steamed rice. Okay, you got another sure. kind of rice here too. Yes, sir. So yeah, we got a wide selection of uh, buffalo uh, buffalo wings, barbecue. That's barbecue, yes, sir. Sweet chili. Sweet chili. We got some egg rolls, fried egg rolls, plain wings, and a ve vegetable pot sticker. So this is the egg drop, and then what was that? The uh, hot and sour soup. Oh yeah, yeah, this is very Asian, this section. With our pesto pasta, pesto chicken pasta, the penne. We're here with our mac and cheese with our orchette pasta. We have our clams with spaghetti, and our Swedish meatballs. Ooh, yeah, I haven't had these since I went to Ikea. We're at the Euro station uh, with our cold uh, section. It's a pasta salad with uh, cherry tomatoes and basil. Over here we have a garbanzo salad. Garbanzo beans, right? Garbanzo beans with a top of feta cheese. It has tomato, onion, cucumbers. Over here we have our antipesto salad. Okay, what is that? Um, it's like a, it's a salami with uh, olives, artichoke, uh, roasted uh, tomatoes, and then our Greek salad. Greek salad, yes. Sure. On this side, um, we have our seafood chipino. This is the seafood chipino? Yes, sir. Uh, shrimp, crawfish, mussels. Uh, over here we have our citric glazed salmon. Oh, that looks good. It's uh, jalapeno poppers, mozzarella sticks, marinara sauce. 
and pretzels. All right, so that's the marinara and that's the pretzels, right? Okay, so that's the vegetable pizza spinach, looks like. Tomatoes, onions, peppers, mm -hmm. and this one's our cheese. Cheese pizza. All and right, then very our simple. And barbecue chicken. And barbecue chicken. Yes, sir. Ooh. On this side we have our charcuterie board. Mm -hmm. Many different uh, types of cheese and meats. All right, so we're at a new section. Yeah, we're at the farm stand uh, salad section. Broccoli cheddar soup. Okay, broccoli cheddar. Nice. And we're at our French onion soup. And today we have a cheese sauce for nachos, pretzels, whatever you like. Wait, so you're supposed to take this and use it with that? Yes. These are uh, cheddar rolls. Mm hmm All right. There's some sourdough rolls and some pretzel rolls. We have our mini uh, BLT salads. These are individually portioned salads. All right. Our beet salad. Beet salad? Yes, sir. Okay, what kind of cheese is that? Uh, goat cheese. Uh-huh. Balsamic glaze. All right. That's our great. coleslaw. Coleslaw. And our classic Caesar. Some dressings, we have Italian dressing, Thousand Island dressing, blue cheese. This one? Yes, sir. Okay. Your French dressing, uh, peppers, sweet peppers. peppers. Okay. Sweet peppers. Ranch. Ranch. Black beans. Mm. Blue cheese crumbles. Artichoke hearts. Uh, black olives. Garbanzo beans. And kidney beans. Excellent. Those are red onions. Red onions. Cheddar cheese. Cherry tomatoes. Oh, they're so big. <laughs> And some uh, bacon mm -hmm. and cucumbers. And this is like a make, build your own salad station. So we have uh, spinach, uh, romaine mix, and our spring mix. So this is basically like shrimp, right? That's yes, okay. You peel it and eat it simple. Our cocktail sauce, lemon slices, uh, pineapple, watermelon. Honeydew melon and cantaloupe. So over here we have our carvery and rotisserie. Over here we have our fried chicken. We do it daily. Rosemary glazed pork chops. Our battered pod this is one of our veggies. Grilled broccolini. Oh, they were filling it. Potatoes and gravy. This is the gravy? Yes, sir. Ooh, so liquidy. Okay. Our baby carrots. Oh, so you got hot dogs and the beef burger patties. Yes, sir. All right, and then you even have our garlic corn fries. Okay, so that's the hot dog and this is the, uh, the brioche buns. This is our carvery section. We have our rotisserie chicken. You can actually get the whole chicken like that? Mm, yeah, you can ask for it. Okay, sure. all right, well, this is a buffet after all. <laughs> and there's our uh, turkey whole breast. Oh, right. Our herb turkey and then our prime, prime rib. This is the prime rib right here? Yes, sir. All right. Our beef ribs. Beef ribs. And then our bratwurst. Carvery. Which one? Our bratwurst. Oh, this one? Yes, sir. All right, with all of these jalapenos, peppers. peppers. Okay, and this is like uh, uh, aju. Aju. Yes, for the prime Fried rib. Prime rib. Here we go, round number one. Fried chicken fan, so of course I'm gonna get it. Now, here's something I don't see that often in buffets. Okay, battered cod. Oh, yeah, look at that prime rib. This is prime rib night. Uh huh. I would say this is kind of like a medium, large size buffet. It's not the biggest one I've been to in town, but they still do have quite a number of options here. And just like with any other buffets, be a wise eater, especially if you don't have too much stomach space, so you gotta focus on a lot of the good food. But I did get some vegetables because I need it. Haven't had too much on this trip. You guys like broccolini to me? It's like the way to go. Tastes really good, you know, with that oily, smoky flavor. If you're not into veggies, of course, you can always do your fried chicken. Very fresh tasting fried chicken. Of course, not like eating at Popeyes or KFC, but still very enjoyable. Since I came here right when they opened, that means everything up there is pretty fresh. Good time to come, right? Not a typical buffet choice for me, but I do like fried fish, so I'm gonna try it. That crispiness is on point. Okay, if you get the batter fish there, 
they're going to be pretty safe. It's pretty enjoyable, actually, even that white fish inside, nice and soft. Now, here's something I didn't expect here. They have these big beef ribs as well. Oh, yeah. Not as big as the one I had at Rolling Smoke the other day, but I'll still take it. Why not? You got to get your money's worth, right? The only thing that I wish it were was fall right off the bone. You know what I'm talking about? So this, you have to kind of chew a little bit and rip it off the bone. But flavor-wise, it's pretty good. Like it has like that smoky flavor. The seasoning, very tasty, you know, that peppery seasoning. So this has like a very charred barbecue taste. So if you like that, all you can eat. You can get plenty of these. Here's what I came for, the prime rib. I haven't had prime rib in quite a long time. Okay, not bad. Okay, that's a really solid prime rib. I mean, I can't say it's like on the level of eating a Lari's prime rib, but for a buffet prime rib, it definitely hits the spot. I don't eat prime rib that often, and honestly, it's not my choice of beef because I'm more of a, uh, like a steak type of person, but I still enjoy a good prime rib from time to time. If I see it in a buffet line, of course I'm gonna get it. After all, it is prime rib night. Oh, I just love those mashed potatoes. It's like so runny. I feel this is like a really classic American buffet meal. Kind of like the ones they had back in the 80s and 90s too. Oh, it brings back good memories. Oh, the buffet cannot finish at round one, right? Maybe I'll try some of that seafood chipino. After all, you gotta try some seafood, right? As well as some of that citrus glazed salmon. As you get deeper into the night, this buffet is gonna get busier. So if you can, try to come right when they open. Wow, such a good snap. Probably been sitting there for a little while, so that's why it's just a little bit dry, but it pretty much has like that pretzel taste to it. Almost like what you would find if you were to walk around a mall. You know, they sell those pretzel snacks. Okay, but here's where you really want to focus your attention on, like the seafood, the chipino. Whoa, back muscles, not bad. Okay, let me try another one. Not bad at all. It's a little bit spicy too, that chipino. Wow, you see, it comes with some shrimp as well in the chipino. It's actually a little spicier than I thought, wow. Okay, well, if you like your chipino kind of spicy, then yeah, I think you're gonna be happy with that chipino. I do taste that citrusy flavor that glaze on top. Salmon, I think, could be a little softer. I mean, it's not the best one I've had in a buffet, but salmon's healthy, so I get it all the time. They got the little shrimp cocktail too, right? Your peel yourself shrimp. Yeah, make sure you get the cocktail sauce, otherwise it's gonna be kind of bland. I think the shrimp could be bigger, but you know, if you guys really like shrimp cocktail, I guess it doesn't matter the size, you can just get whatever you want, right? Back again to some healthy stuff, the garbanzo beans. I feel the vegetable dishes, like the garbanzo salad, is always a safe bet at these restaurants. Like if the meat or the seafood is not that great at buffets, like you can have the salad, the veggies. A lot of the times it's actually very good. All right, right now we're at the sweet shop. This is our chocolate uh, cream pie, our cheesecake. All right, individually portioned. Our pecan pie, carrot cake, chocolate chip cookies, all right, so we do uh, assorted cheesecakes, we have cream puffs, we have different flavors of uh, roulettes. What is this, kind of like cake? Yes, sir. All right, it looks like you got raspberry. Raspberry, lemon, and chocolate. And chocolate, okay. Take your pick, guys. We have our fruit tarts. Okay. These are our cherry sticky pudding. 
What is this magic bar made out of? It's made of uh, a lot of things. It's made of uh, marshmallow, peanuts, chocolate, coconut flakes, and okay. our cake pops. And then uh, we have different types of uh, cupcakes, chocolate and vanilla. We have our custard pie, blueberry pie, apple pie. This is the German chocolate cake? Yes, sir. Okay, it's untouched. Nobody's <laughs> touched it yet. And then uh, our cookie section, we have our double, uh, double chocolate cookies, our sugar cookies. These are our brownies, oatmeal raisin cookies, and peanut butter cookies. Our uh, caramel sauce for our bread pudding. This one? Yes, sir. Bread pudding, apple cobbler, and cinnamon sugar churros. So over here we have our soft serve ice cream, vanilla or chocolate. So this is the vanilla and the chocolate, right? Okay, and you can get like a mix. And then you get the mix if, if you like both. Okay, is this the cone that you use? Yes, sir. All right. You can either have it in a cone or in a cup. I see there's more over here, ice cream. So our gelatos, so first uh, we have our chocolate uh, NSA, sugar-free. We have our mango sorbet. We have our salted caramel. Our raspberry gelato. It's uh, another mango. Uh, spumoni gelato. Mint chip. Uh, butter pecan. And then pistachio gelato. Now on this side we have all, all of our toppings, we have our whipped cream, M&M's, Oreos, chocolate sauce, and strawberry syrup. All right. And our sprinkles. Yep, can't forget the sprinkles. You can even do a buffet out of the dessert section. I'm not going to try all of it tonight because I'm getting really full, but if you want my opinion on what foods you should get from the hot food section, for sure, like the prime rib. Uh, beef ribs even the fried chicken is not too bad either so yeah i would say those are the ones you should really focus your attention on but what about stuff like this cake pop what is it, like a brownie or okay not bad has a very chocolatey taste i like chocolate like i said first time at this buffet at jw marriott it's not the best buffet I've ever been to, but it's also not the worst buffet I've ever been to. I mean, $32, pretty reasonably priced, got free parking out there. Uh, neighborhood is very nice. This resort is pretty nice as well. I think you're gonna like it, especially if you like very all-American buffet food. Yeah, this is your spot. All right, guys, so before I close out this episode, I wanna give a shout out once again to Eduardo, who's the awesome sous chef here at Marketplace Buffet. So if you happen to see him around, tell him you saw me, and he will take really good care of you, right, Eduardo? Of course, just come on in and check us out. All right, you heard him? Sounds good, right? Sounds good. Mm -hmm. Anyways, thank you so much for watching this episode. I'll see you all in the next food adventure.